you ask, ask why, why to stand where few have stood before to experience cultures so rich in simplicity. You feel complete to be consumed by a, by a lifestyle, lifestyle that fulfills the soul. To live every second of every day. To see and learn. And learn. To, to never, never say, say I, I can't. can't. We push the, the limit. limits because we can. We are part of this world and everything in it. We are nomads. Since the beginning of mankind, there has always been one common dream, to fly like a bird. After years of evolution and invention, the sport of paragliding provides the silent, seemingly effortless flight of which dreams are made. This episode of Nomads is all about this little known sport, its athletes, travel, and the lifestyle. The origin of the sport began in the French Alps when a group of climbers used their skydiving canopies to make their descents down technical routes. Since then, the sport has evolved rapidly over the course of the past 20 years, gaining most of its recognition outside of the U.S. Nomad's Mike Steen, Carson Klein, and air-to-air -air cinematographer Demian McConnell joined together to give a crash course and display their acrobatic skills in one of the most consistent flying destinations, Valle de Bravo, Mexico. Hi, my name is Carson Klein. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm a paraglider pilot. After I got about 250 skydives, I started base jumping. Base jumping kind of uh, rolled into paragliding. Uh, I've been paragliding now, like I said, for about three and a half years. Almost daily, as much as I possibly can. I love being in the air and I love flying. Mike Steen from Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm a base jumper, paraglider pilot, skydiver, speed flyer. Carson and I uh, met about the time that I was getting into skydiving and he was getting into paragliding. I was a paragliding instructor, he was a skydiving instructor, and so we were kind of the perfect combo to uh, help each other progress. We uh, both got into each other's sports and haven't looked back. You name it, we've done it, and uh, that's why we're here together. So Demi and contacted Carson and I come on this trip. He's been organizing everything. His big specialty is uh, rigging cameras. He's the guy that's uh, hanging cameras in the lines, hanging them off, off of us, working with the helmet cams and all the point of view stuff. Um, all those angles are really key for capturing what we do and how we do it. My involvement with the sport of paragliding started about eight years ago in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which is a great place to learn with some really quality people, some of the best pilots, um, great flying conditions. Right from the get-go, I just wanted to start filming this, documenting it, and trying to promote the sport. It's not a big sport in the United States as much so as in a lot of other countries, and there's a lot of really talented pilots out there, and I really have wanted to see them get recognized for what they do. And the guys we have here on this trip um, in Valle de Bravo are some of the best, and they're on the cutting edge of this sport. This episode gives you a bird's eye view into this otherwise unknown sport and the mentality of this rare breed. The three nomads meet up in Salt Lake City to make the flight down to Mexico City and onto Valle de Bravo.
This will be the first time any of these nomads have been to Valle de Bravo, having high expectations of amazing flying and scenic views. From Mexico City, it is a three-hour drive to Valle de Bravo, where they'll be based to explore this newfound paradise. So, Some things we want to definitely want to do. Uh, we want to explore, you know, the new sites and uh, and check out the the cross-country side Pinon and then the local side Tori. Uh, we want to interact with some of the, the locals and just see what the culture is all about and how paragliding has really affected, you know, the local the local culture down here. Carson and I uh, scoped out Valle mostly because of its uh, daily opportunities for getting high in a paraglider. In a paraglider we can do uh, aerobatics, all kinds of cool tricks. We can also get high enough to uh, jump out with wingsuits, uh, with face rigs, and uh, do some free fall. The gas, hope we make it with this uh, gas light is coming on. Seven Mexican kilometers to go. Got a couple of ideas for tricks that, that have never been done before, incorporating uh, you know, paragliding, uh, speed flying, and base jumping into one kind of one maneuver. Uh, so that should be pretty interesting. Hey, hey no hassling the sheep. Too fast. We're almost there. It looks good from the weather, from the research I've done, and from feedback from other pilots that this place is very consistent for flying and should get us the conditions we need. We got down here to Valle de Bravo. None of us have been here, so it's our first trip here. Um, I think we're going to uh, initially check out the lay of the land, just kind of check out the situation, see what we got to work with. We got our guide Jaime here to take us to the launch at La Pignon, uh, see what the flying's all about. He's stoked to be here, just excited to see what we got to work with. Um, we showed up there, ran into a bunch of people we knew from all over the world, Turkey, Spain, France, uh, a lot of people from the U.S., Salt Lake, Jackson Hole, you name it, they were there. El Pinon, uh, the first place that we flew, is a, probably the most famous cross-country site here in Mexico. Um, regularly there's 30 to 50 pilots on launch doing their thing, trying to uh, get up super high and fly great distances and fly back here to town, which is about 10 miles. This is 